What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and by now we should all be familiar with the new iPhone 6S. It comes with that new 3D Touch display, and with this video, I wanted to show you some tips and tricks that the iPhone 6S has to offer. Now, most of us already know a great portion of what the 6S can do, but I wanted to show you 25 tips and tricks that you can accomplish with that new 3D Touch display. And I just wanna say, even though 3D Touch is an all new thing, I'm surprised how fast Apple is adapting it to their applications. To begin, you can go into the app switcher just by 3D touching on the edge of the display. You can swipe through a whole bunch of the pages or you could just go to the next one just by 3D touching once and sliding over. Pretty cool. A feature that was removed from all devices on iOS 9 that's just exclusive to the 6S is the ability to use 3D touch on the keyboard to select text or move your cursor. It is so convenient. You'll never have to use two hands just to edit text anymore. In settings, you guys can actually adjust the sensitivity of 3D touch by going into accessibility and then scrolling down to 3D touch. So in here you have three options, light, medium, and firm. It's actually recommended that you put it on light so that way you don't rub off the oleophobic coating on the display too early by pressing so hard. Firm is just a little bit too much. Also in accessibility is a new feature for Zoom. You can actually enable show controller in Zoom and that way when you actually press that little controller, which by the way you can't adjust how transparent it is, you can zoom in using 3D touch on certain aspects of the display. So whether or not you do have bad vision or you just want to zoom in on somebody's Instagram post, this is a really neat feature that's well adapted to the 3D Touch. And here is where you can actually adjust how transparent it is. Now quickly 3D Touch on the Messages app to go into a recent conversation or start a new one. And then when you 3D Touch on a conversation, you can get a quick peek at what's inside without having to read it. So it won't be marked as read. And you can quickly reply from in here as well. Now if you guys receive any attachments, you can quickly peek into them just by 3D Touching on that attachment, whether video or photo, you'll get a quick preview of it. Of course, if you want to pop into it, just press even harder and it'll go into that attachment. Slide up if you want to save it. And there's actually a lot you can do from within the messages application. You can peek at links and this doesn't just apply to messages, but you can get a quick preview without having to go to Safari. If you want to go to Safari, just pop in all the way and you can actually add it to your reading list for reading later. Also, this applies to flights as well. So quickly get a flight preview in case someone sent you that information from within the application using peek. Super cool. With a new Google update, it's a little confusing, but you guys can actually open and save images a lot faster using Peak. So just 3D touch on an image, slide up, and now you have an option to save the image or add it to your clipboard. So we know that we can preview links in messages, but it's highly encouraged in Safari as well. Not to mention you can open links in new tabs faster instead of having to hold and wait for the options to go ahead and open in a new tab. If at any point you want to quickly reply or call someone, just click on their contact image, whether you're in the messages or contact application. Now, email gains some new functionality with 3D Touch as well. Just 3D Touch on an email, you can slide it up for these options, but slide it over one way or the other, and you get an option to mark as unread or move to trash. Really efficient. The ability to quickly shortcut into the camera application with 3D Touch is awesome. Probably my favorite use for it, because you never know when you're going to miss a photo, and this helps you get there faster. Now, you can also quickly peek into the recently taken photos just by clicking over there and you can actually scroll through all of them without having to go into the actual photo application. Pop into it if you want to go there. The photos application has become more efficient with the peek and pop feature so you can quickly preview photos and videos. They will autoplay and it's a really great way to preview your content. Slide up if you want to share. It's really nifty too to be able to use the Maps application as a shortcut to quickly get directions home or send your actual location to somebody. But when you're within the application and you're looking at points of interest, you can actually 3D touch on them and get a quick preview with directions or the ability to call them. And the same applies for actual pins that you drop. So you can 3D touch on them to get directions to them. It's really efficient overall. And just like Safari links, you can quickly peek into addresses, whether it's in notes or messages to quickly get an overview of where it's at, you know, the surrounding streets it's really convenient in messages this is something I use very often you can actually peek into individual notes so you don't have to actually go through every single one to see what you were looking for just peek into it real quick slide up and you can get in there. For those of us that draw or jot down notes, this is really cool. The amount of pressure that you apply to the display will vary the thickness of the line of whatever tool you're using, whether it's the pencil, marker, or the pen. So it's really cool. The ability to control the thickness just by the amount of pressure you apply. In the music application, I was surprised to find this here, you can get a quick preview with a peek of what's inside a certain playlist or an album. So really cool. And you can actually pop into it, you know, to go straight there. And in calendar, you can actually 
actually peek into individual days or events to get a quick preview of what's going on on that certain day. And just a couple bonus ones. So of course, you guys can still delete apps like you usually would. I've had so many people asking me how, you know, just hold and keep holding. And of course, there are live photos. So when you enable this toggle in the camera, you'll notice that it says live. So keep holding your phone steady. And then when you go into cameras and you go to that picture and you actually 3D touch on it, it'll become alive. And you can actually set those as your wallpaper. So when you 3D touch them, you'll get a nice effect. And the last one I wanted to mention is the biggest. 3D touch is available to developers. So, so many applications are gonna start implementing 3D touch into their applications. Right now it's pretty limited. I mean, there's a few big applications that use it. But as time goes on, we're going to be seeing a whole bunch of more uses for it, especially in games. And I cannot wait to see the potential this 3D touch has. So guys, thanks for watching. And I know not all of these were super exclusive, but I just wanted to introduce new iPhone 6S and 6S Plus users to that new 3D touch technology. It really is exciting. You know, when we've reached barriers with display sizes, with display technologies, what else are you going to do? 3D touch is a step in the next direction. And like I said, I'm just super excited to see where this goes next. What will developers do? Do with this technology? What will Apple do? Can they improve this technology to make it more accurate? Will we be able to press even deeper? I'm super excited, but have a great day guys. Enjoy everything you can do with 3D Touch. Hopefully you learned a thing or two with this video. Peace.